is the one and only Mr. Stephen Ock. And, uh, the one and only. Yeah, of course. True. There's only one. And uh, let's let's talk about The Walking Dead. So um, maybe you have one big uh, uh, major um, uh, uh, thing you can tell me from the show because I like collecting behind the scenes memory. And maybe you have some anecdotes for me where you say this was a funny moment behind the cameras we don't see on screen or some bloopers or anything else. Oh my gosh. Well, that's non-stop on the show. The one day I could uh, give you is when Sonequa, do you remember when she turned into a zombie? Mm -hmm. And we had the big coffin? That particular day, and I had to jump up onto the flatbed truck. Uh, that consumed about three hours of us laughing because I could not, I had very tight pants on and I kept tripping and I could not make my way up. So we had to have a, like a little, not a ladder, but a step stool because I was so not cool that I could not hop up in my hipster pants onto it. So for Jeffrey and Austin, they got a kick out of me continually fucking up as I tried to get on, but trying to be as elegant and as cool as possible. That's a great story. It would have been a great blooper, <laughs> which I think made it somewhere. Okay. Do you have more? More funny moments? Oh, well, they're endless. But we only got so much time. Because, That's the good one. Because the cool thing is, the show is uh, very intense and it freaks me out sometimes. Oh, yeah. So I can't imagine that there's also much of laughing in the back chat It's moment. not. And that's great. It's That's exactly great. that. It's, you know, you're laughing and having fun and giggling and then killing and doing all that. And how can you get snap and get serious? Maybe in, in the next five minutes when a you professional, know. damn it. That's called being a <laughs> fucking professional. That's why. Great. And you're here in Germany for the second time because you're really awesome in Monday. Monday, yeah. Um, so uh, some nice memories from Germany. Maybe you see some good things that you're impressed about. Eat some great German food. You know what I want to know? There's a German salt. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like a German coal salt or something. It's black. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? So good. That's my memory so far. Okay. I need to find that. So find me that. <laughs> okay, cool. German salt. And uh, some some moments with, with, with your fans. You can talk about maybe you got some um, uh, internet um, uh, contact with German fans. Do you have maybe some 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 fans that will uh, maybe um, yeah um, uh, come over and show up over the years? But you can say it's also a huge fan. Oh, like people. stalkers? <laughs> not, not only stalkers, but good fans that supports you and say, hey, we are here for you. Please come. Yeah, back. there's all. I mean, it's it's great. Very lucky. You know, people tend to yeah. follow people around on these things. It's great. Lucky. Lucky boy. And my last question, Westworld. Is it really the last question? Yes, it is. <laughs> you have some nice memory from the set of Westworld? Yeah. Gosh. I mean, they're, they're endless. It's always tough to think of one. I remember when Sir Anthony Hopkins was walking by and I was just hanging out in this area and he walked by and he... It's very, very lovely to meet you. Can I get you anything? What? Sir Anthony Hopkins is asking me. I was like, no, no, let me, let me, can I piggyback you to set? That was a wild, surreal moment. And there was many on that show. Thank you Thank so you. much. Great.